Hi everyone, this is Om from Civil Center. Welcome back to our channel. Today is the second episode of Tips and Tricks. So, in the last class, we discussed about cover. And in this class, we will discuss about changing the size of column at different floors. So first of all, we need to know why there is a need of changing the size of column at different floors. So on the upper floors of the building, the load is comparatively lesser than the lower floors. So on the upper floors of the building, we can provide columns which are smaller in size. Now, so how can we do it practically that you know, but when it comes to the software, how can we change the size of column in a software? So today I am going to show you how you can change the size of column in Tecla Structural Designer. So in our earlier videos, we have shown how to change the size of the columns. But today I will show you how to change the size of the column at different floors. So let's move to the software. So this is the interface of Tecla Structural Designer. Now. I will open a file first. So I am using a pre-designed model and I will make changes in it so that you can see how to change the dimensions of column at different floors. So our model is open now. You can see our model. So first of all, I will select all the columns because I have to make changes in the column. So here I am selecting all the columns just to define how it will work. So I, I have selected all my columns now. So if I will change the size of the column then the sizes of all the columns will change. So right now let me check the size of the column here in section I guess it's 250 by 300 I will make it 400 by 400 so you can see all the columns have been changed to 400 by 400 now I will make another level so I will add one more level so that I can raise the columns. So I will select a few columns over here so that you can see the difference. So I have selected all these columns and I will rise them up to the next floor. So now you can see we have our columns on second floor or you can say the top floor. Now we need to change the size of these columns. Then how can we do that? So I have first of all, I will have to select the columns whose size has to be changed. So just to show you, I'm selecting all these again. Now, all you need to do is to go to stack. So first of all, you need to know why there is a need to change the size of column at upper floors. So you know that the loadings at upper floors are less. So you don't require a column of larger size. However, loading at the lower floors is greater. So you need columns with larger size at the lower floors. So I will change the size of all these columns at this floor. So this is in a stack 4. So I will click a stack 4. I will go to the section and then change the size to 250 by 250. So you can see the size of the columns has been changed. So you will change them according to your needs. But I am just showing you the correct way to change the size of the column. So here you can see the difference. This column at top floor it shrinked. Earlier it was 400 by 400 and now it's 250 by 250. So that was all about today's class and we will keep learning all such tips and tricks in our upcoming classes. 
also if you want to learn all these tips and tricks in detail then you can join our online classes you can find the link in the description that was all for today thank you